Hare Krishna. Welcome you all for our day Gurukul sessions. And uh, today is a Monday. We have a verse for the week. Hare Krishna. Manuvik Prabhu, check your sound. Everyone is able to hear. You rejoin once again. So it will be better. So what input we give to the mind matters a lot. You, 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 is, is this picture is visible? You all are able to see the picture here? Yeah, Prabhu. Yeah, yeah. So our mind is the best receptor of information. <laughs> but make sure that all it receives isn't trash. <laughs> right? I can zoom it a little bit more also. You see here, the person is sitting in front of TV and nicely watching and the television is putting so much dump upon his head. <laughs> Garbage. So... Now, how it happens, there is a mind which captures the things. Hmm? But there is one more mind. Anyone knows what is that mind? One more type of mind is that. Anyone knows? Generally, we say mind, but there is one more. One more type of mind is that. Like, let's say we, we might be walking on a road. We, we also see many, many billboards or some kind of a things and all. But we may not uh, get into those things around. But still, looking over them or getting into those things and then things it has, uh, that's not an intelligence. That's called as a subconscious mind. Hmm? Anyone knows what is meaning by subconscious mind? Subconscious yeah. mind. Yeah. What is meaning by that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but subconscious mind means it is not that much conscious for me. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> yeah, by me, by name, it may sense like that. Yeah, subconscious mind means it's like a sponge. You know, it it just takes like a sponge you put in a water, it absorbs the water, right? Without any action, you just put the sponge in the water, it starts taking all water inside. <laughs> Same way, subconscious mind means it doesn't discriminate wherever you put the mind through our eyes or through our ears or whatever the input we take it, it just take it, takes it. Now, let's say now we're watching some dirty pictures or maybe very, uh, what we say, very polluted scenes or kind of things are going on in front. Right. So now we may not act upon that or we may not uh, take a, what we say, thought about those things. But then what happened, even by looking also, that mind has captured those things inside. So now momentarily we may not acting on that, but later what happens that things are stored inside that subconscious mind, like a water in a sponge. <laughs> then later it pops up one by one, one by one, one by one. <laughs> right. So that's why sometimes we think, Are, I'm not getting any, I'm not doing anything bad. I'm not working on anything, but still why, why my mind is disturbing so much? Why my mind is getting distracted so much? Is it clear? Are you all getting? Is it point is clear? Yes, probably. Yeah. So this is called as a subconscious mind. Hmm? Subconscious mind. One is general mind, we say, which gives a thought, which stores the desires and all. But there is a subconscious mind also, which, which, which absorbs. <laughs> Although we may not do anything with that, but then the very fact that it has been uh, looked upon or it has been uh, sensed with the senses and all it has taken input so that's why we have to be cautious not even getting into those things through our senses also looking hearing immediately we should close those senses if you know that which is not good like here the word is written trash <laughs> right. so that's why now you are learning the shlokas today is a shloka for the week now you may think, Are, what is the point? I am not I am not able to memorize also. No, this works for subconscious mind even positively here also. <laughs> Subconsciously, it, it, it hooks on to the shlokas. Some meanings, some little bit words, right? Some things will hook upon. And then right at the time, like Gajendra remembered, <laughs> right? Gajendra remembered his Purvajanma shlokas, his memorizations or whatever, <laughs> right? Or that... Uh, who, who was that uh, personality who learned in the womb only and then he came out with the full knowledge? <laughs> who was that person? Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah, Prilad Maharaj is one who learned devotional science. Military science was learned by Abhiman. <laughs> yeah, Shukdev Goswami also learned it. And of course, Shukdev Goswami was fully conscious inside also. <laughs> But these babies, they were just the babies. And not only that, many children, uh, you might have watched the videos also in our some Sunday sessions, right? Children's there, they, 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 they start developing attraction for chanting, for Krishna consciousness. Why? Because mothers, when they were pregnant, when the children were in the wombs, so they had done some Krishna conscious practices very nicely. So that baby inside the womb also has absorbed those things very properly, very positively. So that's what the baby also comes out Krishna conscious way. <laughs> right. So that's why uh, we, we congratulate all of you for learning uh, shlokas and taking your good interest. But uh, subconsciously it is acting, but consciously also we should act. <laughs> that doesn't mean that just let me just sit and then close further. You know, later also we should take efforts, but uh, best to do both ways now also and later also. But if not, at least not to miss the opportunity to hear the holy names, hear the shlokas, see the darshan of the Lord. Right now, this Friday, there is a holy festival. Very, very auspicious holy festival. What is that festival? <laughs> Name is holy <laughs> festival. Not H-O-L-I. <laughs> H-O-L-I. Yeah, the Gaur <laughs> The appearance day of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So again, we get the opportunity for taking in our mind. We see the wonderful Abhishekam we see nice kirtans and whole day there will be nice kathas, so many services and so many devotees together. Right? And then we pray to the Lord, we chant more, we do kirtans and things. Right? Take in as much as more. <laughs> so let us begin our today's session. Om Adnyana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeyaham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamadam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Rupam Sagrajata Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam, Savadhutam, Parijana, Sahitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha, Krishna Pada, Sagana, Lalita, Shri Vishakhan, Vitamsha, Nama, O Mishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishtaya, Bhutale, Srimate, Bhakti Vedanta, Swami, Nitinamine. Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pascha Tadeshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gaurat Pushe Namaha E Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindavaneshwari Vushabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Pri Vancha Kalpataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Vacha Patitanam Bhavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaurabhita Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Let us begin our recitations. 1.8.18 Kunti Vacha Namase Purusham Tuadyam Vishwaram Prakrute Param Alaksham Sarva Bhutanam Antar Bahira Vastitam Maya Javanika Channam Adnyadhok Shajamavyam 
न लक्षसे मुड़दृशा नुटो नाट्यधरो यथा तथा परमहंसा मुनीत्मना भक्त योग विधा कथम पश्ये मही स्त्रि कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकजनाभाय नम पंकज मलिने नम पंकज नेत्राय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे then then she prays about devaki and her fortune tha rushi ke khale na devaki kam se naruddha ti chiram suchar pita vimochita ham cha sahatma ja vibho tvayai vanathe namohor vipad ganat vipada santutash no i think she lays down the विपदस्वटर्षाग्ने पुषादर्शन असत्सभा वनवासकृश्रत मृधे मृधे अनेक महारथास्रो द्रौण्यस्रत स्म हरे रविरक्षिता विपदा सन्त शाश्व त्र त्र जगद्गु दर्शन यदुनर्भवदर्शन जन्मश्वर्यश्रुत श्रीभीधमदुम नईवाहति अभिधा वै तामकिंचन गोचर नमो किंचन वित्ताय निवृत्ता गुणवृत्त आत्माय शाताय कैवल्यापत नम <clears throat> and then she compares you are impartial you are not partial mannetvam kalam ishanam manadi nidanam vidham samam charantam sarvatra bhutanam yannithak kali yeah, and then she yeah says how is difficult to understand you vidambanam <laughs> na ved kashchit bhagavam shikirshitam जन्म कर्म च विश्वात्मजस्य कर्तुरात्मन भयभावनयास्तित सामोहयतिरपिदी then she lays down the reasons why lord you take birth from 32 onwards 32 33 34 35 35 so the four verses kechidahu rajam jatam punya shlokasya kirtaye yado priyasya anubhavaye malayasya eva chandanam so to glorify the pious kings punya shlokasya kirtaye and especially the yadu you appeared in the yadu dynasty so some says that kechid ahuraj whereas other says that you appear for the protection of the suras apare some others and devakin vasudev prayed for you that's why you appeared apare vasudevasya devakyam yachito bhagat ajastvamasya kshemaya vadhaya cha surat visham those who are surat vishas those who are envious of the suras that is asuras to destroy them <laughs> you take birth and then again she lays down brahma prayed for you mother earth was overburdened bhara avatarana yanne bhuvona vaibodado sidantya bhuri bharena jato hi atma bhuvarthita and then she says the most important reason you appear anyone remember that is our last verse 
for you and me and every one of us. That is the reason is very fitting. <laughs> the first words for King Yadu, pious kings like King Yadu. Second words for Vasudeva and Devaki. Third words for Mother Earth and Brahma. Fourth words is for you and me and for every one of us. What is that reason? Lord appears. Anyone remember? Long, long back, I think. <laughs> Two weeks are over now. Shunvanti Gayanti Grunanti Abhikshnasha. No, no, I think that is another. That's something similar here. Bhavesmin Klishamanana Mavidya Kama Karma Bhi Shravanas Maranarhani Karishan Nitikechana. Anyone remember the meaning? General meaning, you know? Bhavesmin Klishamanana Avidya Kama Karma Bhi. Because of the ignorance, we are doing karma. We are doing the things which gratifies our senses <laughs> because of ignorance. And then we are caught up in this world. Bhavis means klishamana. Then how to come out, out of this entanglement? Shravana. Shravana means hearing. Smarana, then remembering. Arhana means worshipping. So that we can get rid of this entanglement of ignorance. <laughs> Lord, you come, you perform these wonderful episodes by various avatars and activities of your devotees and all, so that we can hear about you, Shravana. We can remember you, Smarana, and thus we can worship you with a great heart, Arhana. So this is a reason for you and me and every one of us. Bhaveshmin klishamana nama vidya kama karma bhi. Shravana Smaranarhani Karishan Nitikechana. And yet others say that you appeared for the sake of rejuvenating the devotional service of hearing, remembering, worshipping, and so on. In order that the conditioned souls suffering from material pangs might take advantage and gain liberation. <laughs> so this is a this verse at least we should remember and act also. <laughs> 1835. So this is a verse last week we studied. Correct? All of you remember now? I think recitation is also over. We discussed the Prabhupada's purport also here. Yeah, now 36. Ha, this was a verse I was reciting. <laughs> right. It's also very beautiful, she prays. How one can attain the lotus feet of the Lord. Again, Shrunvanti. What is meaning by Shrunvanti? Huh? What is meaning by Shrunvanti? Shruna. Sunna. <laughs> hearing. Shrunvanti means hearing. Gayanti means Gayanti. Simple, no? What is meaning by Gayanti? Singing. Ah, Gana. In singing. Yeah, Gana or singing. <laughs> Shrunvanti, Gayanti, Grunanti, Abhikshnasha. Guna means wonderful qualities of the Lord. Sorry, Gruna. It's not Guna, it's Gruna. Grunanti means take. And Abhikshnasha, continuously. Mm. Without any break, without any interruption, mm. every day. <laughs> mm. So that is the word Abhikshnasha. Mm. And then uh, Smaranti, again, Smaranti, Shunvanti, Gayanti. Uh, Grun, uh, Grunanti Abhikshnasha, Smaranti means the remembering, Nandanti means. Uh, uh, keep a mute, Manvik Prabhu. So, Nanda, whose name is Nanda? Where where you refer the name Nanda? <laughs> Prabhuji, mostly in Krishna book, Prabhuji. Yeah, the father of Lord Krishna, Nanda Maharaj. So, the meaning of word Nanda means. Yashoda. Yashoda means Yashoda. One who gives all auspiciousness. Yasha. Success. And Nanda means one who gives all happiness. <laughs> okay. So that's Nanda. So here the word Nandanti. Nandanti means that they take pleasure. So Shunvanti, Gayanti, Smaranti, Nandanti. For what? Tava. Tava means Tera or yours. <laughs> Tava Hitam Jana. Hita. Uh, tava ihitam. Ihitam is the activities, not hitam, it is ihitam. And jana means uh, a people in general. Jana. Jana kalyan hitu. Jana means the people. 
शुण्वी गायती गृणंती अपेक्षण स्मरती नंदी तवे तम जन ते पश्य देन वॉट हेपन वेन वन डिलइट इन टू दोज लॉर्ड एक्टिविटीज टू हियर रिमेम्बर चैंट एंड ऑल वन हू टेक्स प्लेजर इन टू दैट ते पश्य ट मीन सच पीपल ते मीन देव मीन सर्टनली पश्य दे कैन सी पश्य दे कैन सी अचिण अचिण मीन वेरी सून पश्य अचिण वर्ड इज रिटर्न अचिण मीन दे कैन सी बट हाउ लॉन्ग इमीडियटली दे कैन सी वेरी सून तावक युअर दे कैन सी यू इमीडियटली ओ लॉर्ड but not you she she says also very specific thing so pada ambujam the last word is written pada ambujam where else the word ambujam comes what is meaning by ambuja many many places we read the word ambuja pada ambuja the lord's limbs are compared to uh, their being we we don't call just as a feet of the lord we call it as we just do, lord we just, ha huh, the lotus feet <laughs> we we just don't call as the face of the lord we call it as the lotus face we just don't call as a body of the lord but the lotus body <laughs> so ambuja nama pankaja na bhaya nama pankaja mani there is all lotus lotus first pankaja means that is ambuja means also the lotus so lotus feet am bhava pravaha bhava pravaha bhava means again this material word प्रवाह मीन्स द फ्लो करंट द रिवर हेज अ करंट राइट द वेव्स बट हियर वॉट भव प्रवाह द करंट ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड वेर वी टेक रिपीटेड बर्थ एंड डाय एट रीबर्थ द करंट ऑफ रीबर्थ one gets freed from all this just by seeing your lotus feet very soon so this is the meaning of this verse this is exact translations o krishna those who continuously hear chant and repeat your transcendental activities or take pleasure in others doing so certainly see your lotus feet which alone can stop the repetition of birth and death <laughs> so we learned right the four real problems of our life birth old age disease and death so how to solve them only solution is the lotus feet of the lord but how one can have the lotus feet of the lord here is a secret given <laughs> right by hearing about the lord by chanting the names of the lord by repeating the wonderful activities see repeating now the repeat is important <laughs> somebody can say oh i already know about krishna book i already know about lord chaitanya i already know about lord rama <laughs> No, repeat, <laughs> right? Repeat. So that repeat. Why? Because we are repeating in this material world again and again. Now, by repeating the Lord's activity again and again, then they will get imprinted inside our mind, inside our heart. <laughs> so repetition is needed. So that's why it is important. And then, or takes pleasure in others doing so. One who takes pleasure in others doing so, right? Then he can also. right not that he becomes uh, envious of others who are chanting or reading or oh, no. <laughs> right but he 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 becomes joyful that others are also chanting the names of the lord others are also singing others are also becoming devotees of the lord <laughs> just by doing these activities very soon one will have the darshan of the lotus feet of the lord and then what happens one can stop the repetition of birth and death go back home back to god simple na no? is it clear so i'll just recite once and uh, then maybe next week we'll take a purport and then the recitation again come because now time is getting over hmm? i'll i'll recite and then maybe uh, if it time permits we'll see uh, because now it's close to 1 minute so words are very simple right shrunvanti shrunvanti means sunna gayanti gana <laughs> smaranti smaranam is very simple right nandanti means taking pleasure of others doing so then what happen pashyanti one is able to see achirena very soon <laughs> right tavakam you are what you are not you but your lotus feet lotus feet 
then what is the result of seeing the lotus feet of the Lord? Bhava Pravaho Parama. What is meaning of that? Anyone remembered now? What happened by seeing the lotus feet of the Lord? What is the result one gets? Liberation. Ah, liberation. <laughs> Come out of the pravaha of this material world of repetition, birth and death. Go back home, back to God. So simple, no? Mother Kunti is giving a whole process in one shloka. Right? Doing a shravanam, uh, smaranam, then the result is what? One very soon gets the darshan of the lotus feet of the Lord. And then as a result is what? One goes out of this material world, goes back home, back to God. Okay. So that's why she's concluding the Lord's appearance. I, why Lord you appear? The result is previous verse also we read and now this verse also she says. Shunva, uh, previous verse, Bhavesmin Klishamananam Avidya Kama Karmabhi Shravana Smaranarhani Karishan Indikecha. Shravana. Then what is the result of such Shravana? Then this verse again she elaborates. Shunvanti Gayanti Grunanti Abhikshnasha Smaranti Nandanti Tavehitam Jana Taeva Pashanti Achirena Tavakam Bhava Pravaho Paramam Padambujam. So this is a little bigger verse, right? You are able to compare. This verse, if you see, these words have a, a bit only half of like, but this verse has a little longer words. <laughs> so you can sing in a tune. This verse can be sung in a straight way. Bhavesmin Klishamananam Avidya Kama Karmabhi Shravana Smaranarhani Karishan Nitikechana. Then this verse can be sung in a little more uh, bigger tune. Shunvanti Gayanti Grunanti Abhikshnasha Smaranti Nandanti Tavehitam Jana. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So at least uh, some things we should hold upon. Subconsciously, mind has taken some things input to the degree we were attentive. <laughs> but even if not, something, whatever little bit we captured, we should think upon when we go to the bed or when we travel tomorrow to the school. Wherever free time, when we take bath or so, then the mind is idle. When you do routine activities, mind is idle, right? We know already where is a hot water, where is a bathing, where is a towels. Mind is kind of a free to think of some additional things. <laughs> So we can think about what we learned, what we read, what we heard, right? So that it will become very easy to contemplate and mind will become such thoughts comes. Then Shunvanti, Smaranti, Gayanti, one will sing. <laughs> and then Nandanti, one will enjoy by seeing wonderful practice of Krishna consciousness. Then Bhava Prava, one will get rid of all this birth and death by having a darshan of lotus feet of them. Thank you all very much for joining and having all of your nice association. Let us end with Vaishnava Pranam. Vancha Kalpata Rubesha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnava Pyo Namo Namaha Ananda Bodhi Vaishnava Vrindaki Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you, Arakush.